So let's uh, let's start with uh, this lady whose name I don't know. Uh, it's right here. Hopefully you can see it. And um, she is talking about here, right? She's talking about here Christian nationalism. So uh, this is 20 seconds out of a longer discussion where she's talking about the rise of Christian nationalism and and Donald Trump is going to surround himself with Christian nationalists and uh, th th this is going to be their agenda. The, the second Trump administration is going to be a Christian nationalist agenda. I, I don't necessarily disagree with much of that, but this 20 seconds it has created a firestorm. It's, it's, it's a standard view, but suddenly everybody picked on it because this is how social media works, right? Somebody says something, like a million people say stuff, and it's ignored. And one person says something, and suddenly it just hits in the right time, in the right place. Somebody clips it out, puts it up, on, and boom, a... a a firestorm happens. Um, anyway, let's let's watch. Let's see what actually happened. So this is her. Let me know if the volume is off or, or there are any other problems. Thing that unites all of them, because there's many different groups orbiting Trump, but the thing that unites them as Christian nationalists, not Christians, by the way, because Christian nationalists is very different, mm -hmm. is that they believe that our rights as Americans, as all human beings, don't come from any earthly authority. They don't come from Congress. They don't come from the Supreme Court. They come from God. Thing that unites. All right. So uh, she's basically saying, because uh, 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 she's, she's being critical here. I mean, she's not saying this as kind of a, a, a neutral position. She's being critical. She's saying these Christian conservatives, they, they think this crazy thing. They think that rights don't come from Congress. They don't come from the Supreme Court. They come from God. Now, we'll get to the argument about them coming from God in a minute. But let's first deal with this question of, do they come from Congress? Do they come from the Supreme Court? And the answer, of course, is God. If, if you read the Founding Fathers, if you know anything about the Founding Fathers, if you read the Declaration of Independence, if you know anything about the conception of rights on which this country is founded, then clearly the answer is it doesn't come from Congress and it doesn't come from the Supreme Court. Indeed, the whole concept of rights to a large extent is there to protect, to protect us from Congress, the Supreme Court, a president, or any other group that has a majority that can inflict their will on us, even if they don't have a majority. Any group that can oppress us in any kind of way. As Ayn Rand writes, the principle of, individual, of man's individual rights represents the extension of morality into the social system as a limitation on the power of the state as man's protection against the brute force of the collective, as the subordination of might to right. Individual rights, in a sense, stand above government. They are what limit government. They are what constrain government. They can't be something that government determines because then they're not rights at all then they're kind of privileges granted to us by the authorities. However, the authorities come to be, whether through a democratic process or whether through any kind of process. Rights must be primary to government. And government has to be subordinated to rights. Its functions must be subordinate to rights. So there's no way that government can give us rights. They're not rights then again. It's a negation of the whole idea of what rights are. And it's a negation, importantly, of the purpose of rights, the function of rights. The function is, whoops, I almost, almost screwed that up. The function is to subordinate might to right. And here might. You can conceive of might as majority rule, a dictatorship, the, the, the force that government can bring to bear on 
dictating how you live your life or not live your life. So rights are there to limit the power of the state. That's their purpose. And we'll talk about limit on the basis of what? As man's protection against the brute force of the collective. So whether rights come from God or from somewhere else that we haven't yet dis discovered or that they haven't yet discovered, rights cannot be something that society votes on. You know, the rights are exactly there to protect us exactly from that. They're there to protect us from Congress and from the Supreme Court and from the president and from all the other. They're there to protect us from politics. They're there to protect us from our neighbors. They're there to protect us from the majority. They're there to subordinate those functions of society to a specific kind of moral law. And, and, and that is really the concept that the founders had, is that rights are, in that sense, above government, that government is there to protect the rights. But the rights are not defined by the agency that is protecting them. One of the problems with anarchy is uh, there's no mechanism by which rights can be above the law. Rights are exactly defined by differently by different protection agencies. Go figure that one out and how that lands up and how that all gets settled. All right. So uh, what she's saying is a complete negation, a complete negation of the American system of government, complete negation of individual rights. Uh, you know, the, 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 the left wants to keep the, um, the concept of rights without adhering to, to, to the way it arose historically, without adhering to, to how, uh, you know, to where it came from, w without any kind of understanding of what the purpose of the concept is. Because if Congress just decides, then why is it a right? It's just a law, it's just something Congress decides. The whole idea is that rights are the measure by which we evaluate every law. Is it violating our rights or is it protecting our rights? So it's the standard. 